Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So we've got a fun one today. We're going to try out the Victor DC 2400 duplicator burning some 4-inch plate. Now I've had this 4-inch plate for quite a few years now and I've never figured out what to really do with it because I didn't know what it was. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a pattern for the duplicator torch and we're going to torch out 4-inch plate. And this is what we're going to cut out. And at the end of the video, we're going to talk about the subscriber giveaway. So let's get started on making the pattern. Okay, so I got all my stuff laid out. This is my piece of steel to make my pattern out of. And we're going to just go ahead and die cam this up. And the reason for the die cam is once that dries, we can lay this pattern that I cut out on there, trace it out, and then we'll be able to see the lines. So let's move on. Now this pattern, I printed this out on the computer. I spent some time drawing it up and trying to figure it out. We'll cut this out with the scissors, and then we can transfer the pattern over. All right, now that it's all cut out, we'll lay it on there and I'll trace it out. So because I was tracing paper, I couldn't put a lot of pressure on it, but I can see my lines due to the die cam. Now we'll take a drill bit and drill in the corners because we want a radius for our stylus to follow. And then we'll go in the weld shop and we'll do a combination of the iron worker and the bandsaw to cut the rest of this out and then clean it up on the, the belt grinder. Well, our pattern's all cut out. Let's head back to the duplicator, get this set up, get the torch set up, and start cutting this pattern out. So we're all set up. Uh, technically I should be running a number five tip for four inch plate, but everybody I talked to that's run these things before suggested a smaller tip and up the oxygen for a cleaner cut. So that's what we're gonna try, especially since I didn't have a number five tip on hand. There's our pattern. We're all set up, ready to go. So it'll just be a matter of uh, lighting it up and letting her run. Okay, so the first thing we do here is we light her up. And 
we're just running an oxygen rich pass just to kind of clean up the, the surface. We'll run it around to get her clean and then we'll start cutting. All right, I see a problem here. I'm gonna lose it pretty quickly because I don't have this cut out yet. So I'm gonna bring it back and start it back here and try to finish that out. At least I'll know for next time where I need to go. That looks pretty good. Now we'll just have to see if it'll pop out of there, but uh, it's been about five minutes and I still got a hot, hot puddle under there. I mean, she's toasty right here. I was having a little bit of difficulty with my uh, torch hose was being a little stiff and wasn't flexing properly and getting me where I needed to be. So I had to kind of help, help guide it along because it was fighting me for the most part, but uh, some of those cuts look pretty decent. So once she cools off, I'll pop her out of there and we'll take a look. Not bad for my first attempt. Made a very nice cut. And she's still kicking out a bunch of heat out of the slag down there, but worked out well. Well, I'm really happy with how that came out other than the little hiccup on my where I started and stopped. And, and I should have thought of that beforehand. 
But having never cut four inch plate and not knowing how this was gonna react, I'm quite pleased with it, but now I know what we'll do next time. Now, many of you know I hired a young man, uh, 16 years old through the Wisconsin Youth Apprenticeship Program. And he's been working here in the shop for a few months um, after school and on Saturdays. And we've been getting a lot done. He's been learning a lot of stuff. He's been picking it up really quickly. Um, the mills, the lathes, the um, welding, all of it. And he enjoys it. He's, he's very excited about learning more. And so we're going to cut out one more. I'm going to let him cut it out. I'm not going to film him because he's 16 years old and with the YouTube requirements for underage and all that, I, I don't want to get into any of that. So we're going to cut out one more and then we're going to talk about how we're going to give this thing away, the contest rules. Beat on that one. This one? Yep. Okay, let's knock that one out. She should go pretty easy. There it nope. is. All right. Well, now we let it cool because that's going to be too hot. <laughs>
right because we're running out of gas. Alright. Shit. Oh, the last one, we cut three of these out. The last one, we cut it out of the middle, as you saw, and that one came out absolutely perfect. So we cut out three in total, and we had already used a couple hundred pounds of oxygen out of my bottle, and we got about 150 pounds left. So we went through almost a full bottle of oxygen to cut out these three. Um, I could probably do better with a little more experience, but we did really well. So I cut out that very first one, that went really good. And then my apprentice came and I set him, helped him set up and he cut this one. And then he cut this one out of the middle there. And he, this one came out absolutely incredibly beautiful. Um, just perfect. Now, Connor wanted to keep one. So what we did, we discussed it because this one's so nice, this is gonna be the showpiece here in the shop. The one he cut out already was planned to be the giveaway one. And so I gave him the one I cut out. Um, you know, he hadn't planned on wanting one, but after seeing it all cut out, he really wanted to keep one. So that, that worked out well. He's happy with that. And he learned a lot and had a lot of fun. So keeping him engaged and, and learning and, and he's really enjoying the work here. So I'm, I'm happy with how he's, how he's working out and how he's learning and he's doing really well here. So, so now the contest, we are giving away the one that Connor cut out, my apprentice, to a lucky subscriber. Now remember, this thing is very heavy and the rules to the contest are this. You need to be a subscriber and you need to comment the weight and pounds and ounces and you need to be within the United States for shipping because this thing is very heavy and it is gonna kill me to ship this thing. Um, so, subscriber, within the United States and comment the weight in pounds and ounces. Um, and once the contest is over, we, this video comes out Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, probably Wednesday night or Thursday night, somewhere in there, I will shut down the commenting, which will, that'll be the end of the contest. And then I will, in a community tabs post, I will announce the winner of the cut out. So comment the weight below and watch my community tab for a, a, a post with the winner's username and then we will get together and I will ship this to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I know I did. I know Connor really did and this was a lot of fun. So until next time, get out in your shop and good luck in the contest and get it done right the first time.